What is going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 14 of Little Root Lessons. As always, I'm your host, Carter Noble, joined by our fantastic co-host, Carl Wilkin. Carl, what's going on, man? This past week, we got a juicy, juicy trailer from the Nintendo and Pokemon International company. Yeah, uh, we... Going over all the DLC stuff that we really, really wanted to know. Well, mostly some of the DLC stuff. Yeah, it, it's the stuff we wanted to know. We wanted to know when it came out, and we got bonus Pokemon confirmed for the game. True. Specifically, Politoed. Hail Toad. I am so happy, man. Same. I, I, I we have been like calling for a good rain setter for. And we got it. Uh, <laughs> especially like if they give it good move sets, like Politoed's gonna be real great. Oh yeah, for if, sure. The the big thing that like it gets over. Pelipper is like, it loses our four times sweetness. We have bulk, so we can actually live some hits. And, like, we also have, like, access to Icy Wind, or at least in previous, you know, previous gems we did. So, really, just getting rid of, like, getting rid of that four times sweetness and adding good bulk makes such a difference. Especially, especially, like, when we are already weak to electric because we're flying. Like, I mean, yeah, because we're rain, like, we have a um, pretty obvious weakness to electric-type moves. So getting rid of one of those and not having it four times weak is just perfect. Oh, like, yeah. Super like, good. Big, big deal. So um, I'm, I'm assuming you wanted to start with DLC stuff, talk it, get into... Yeah, let's, let's jump into this because there's there's a lot of information on that trailer that we got to kind of condense into about an hour. And I'm going to be honest, we could spend hours talking about oh, the DLC sure, stuff because there's, sure. there's so much between for the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra that we got all at the same time. And it's a lot. And we have other things to talk about this week. <laughs> so um, the first like big thing, we got a release date. Yep. We got a release date of June 17th. Uh, meaning, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, we have our DLC giveaway, and we're going to move that up a week. We're giving away a copy of the expansion on the 15th. Yep. A um, couple extra uh, Nintendo Shop e-cards and all that stuff as well, so uh, make sure you listen next week. That'll be yep. next week, right? Next week's episode, we'll have, we'll have the winners announced on there. We'll probably have it posted on Twitter before then, but... And we'll check about it the out. same time. It probably yep. will have it posted. Yep, yep. So, uh, big thing is we have a release date on June seventeenth, which I believe is a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. Meaning I'm off. Meaning I actually get to stream this. I more, I am more, not off. More, more importantly, um, I'm moving. <laughs> I think I get my keys the fifteenth. So, so, we so might I'm be probably moving. not streaming. We <laughs> might be moving really you moving. into your new apartment on the fifteenth <laughs> after I get off work or something. So, um. Yeah, there's there's a lot of really really interesting things we got going on here. Um, obviously, we know we're getting move tutors. Um, yep. We don't know what or anything else. Uh, we know what the currency is. The armorite orbs. Armorite orbs. So it's like this little piece of yep. metal, kind of like how the heart scales were. This is specifically for the Isle of Armor move tutors, though. Okay. Meaning Crown Tower could also we'll have, have its them. own currency, yeah. most likely. Which probably means we're going to have some way of farming them. Yeah. Uh, it'll probably be something similar to star pieces for, like, wish, like for the wishing stars for the... Uh, you can also just be, like, digger bros. Yeah, that's, like, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, is like, yeah, you can just, farm it like that. Just, hey, Supposedly, there was a, a rumor saying something about digging sisters on this island. I don't know how much of that is true, but that would make sense on how to be, like, mm -hmm. to get more of these things. You can dig them up. Through them as like a probably like a semi rare drop. Um, another really really awesome key event, I guess you want to call it, is Max Soup. Yes. Which is going to be a way to uh, Gigantamax Pokemon that are possible to that aren't currently able to. So this is how you're going to get your starters. This is how you're going to get like Blastoise and Venusaur. I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, again, we don't we don't know specifics about it. But that means potentially you can breed for, for a shiny and then get it max. Or even even like good stats because yeah. like Hatterene, you want zero speed. And it's hard. And I, yeah, like 
grinding for a G Max Hattering with zero speed. I, I mean, I did it for Snorlax. I also did it for Snorlax just before Collinsville. And luckily, I found someone who was farming them anyway. So I'm just like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll pick one up. I don't care. Uh, I didn't have that luxury. I farmed <laughs> mine. Mine was at 400 days out. Jesus. 400 den resets and checking over and over and over. That's insane, man. I got it, though. To get one deal. You know, get one. Like, this man. And now Gandalf sits peacefully in my box. Haven't touched it since. Haven't touched it since. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can at least say I use mine in Draft League. I didn't draft Snorlax. There's a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, um, there's something called the cram o I don't know if you've seen this thing. It is a thing that exists, yes. So the cram o is a weird-looking cramorant like robot. And apparently you put, I think what they said on the on the website was you put multiple items into it. I believe, I, I heard somewhere it's like up to three? It's up to three or up to four. And then it has the ability to spit out various other items. So you can shove things like junk items in and get items out that you may or may not need. This is probably how we're going to get our, our Apple Balls. I would be not be surprised yeah. if that's not, if that's how it is. It's goes. probably Pokeball plus certain berry equals Apple Ball. Yeah. And I... It probably just functions exactly like every other fusion box item ever in any game where people are going to figure this out super easily and you're going to find your, your recipes online in two days. So, um, let's looks, see. Looking through the rest of this, there's something called restricted sparring that um, restricts the number, like the types of Pokemon you can use and gives you various new conditions on how to fight through battles in the dojo there. Okay. Which, that's like a cool side and post-game, probably, sort sure. of thing. Sure. Kind of like how we have the current re-challenge the Elite Four training thing. Mm-hmm. That's probably something similar where you can get more items and things like that for the dojo. Um, we also got some information about Kofu jumping into the tower here. Yep. Uh, more importantly, we got information about Urshifu. Uh, the big thing being its ability, which seems kind of messed up. It seems kind of messed up because they gave us a lot of vague details and nothing really hard. Concrete. That's the big thing. Is people are like, so its abilities known as Unseen Fist. Yep, Unseen Fist. Uh, makes it where you can hit mons through Protect and Detect. With physical contact moves. Specific. That's all we know, though. Yep. So it's probably going to function similar to probably like how Dynamax moves work, where it does... X percentage of it. Exactly. That's kind of what we're all I'm thinking is because being able to hit through protect is already strong as like we've seen with Dynamax and GMAX mons. That's really strong. And being able to do that on a regular Pokemon without having to Dynamax or Gigantamax is really strong. And then not only, not only that, but we also know it has its Gigantamax move, which makes it where they can hit Max Guard. Yep. So like now protect isn't even safe. Exactly. So... I'm, like, with that information, I'm kind of hoping this isn't going to be legal, but I've heard rumors that it is. Yeah. I've, I've heard talk of, oh, this is going to be legal in online play. I'm just like, mm. Granted, we don't know what stats either. Its base stats could be within the realm of normal Pokemon. It could also have 130 attack and just look at you funny. Good. But we, like I said, we don't know the base stats of the Pokemon yet. Yeah, we... That's one thing we don't know. Um, like we said, we, we did get a trailer, which did show some new mons. Um, obviously, the one I'm most excited about is, is Politoed. Like, Yep, we get Politoed and the whole Poliwag line in general. Um, we got confirmation on Slowbro. Poison, poison Psychic. Poison Psychic Which, type. it was very obvious to anyone who watched the first trailer that that's it's, what it was going to be. Exactly. Because they made oh, that specifically clear. Look at this. You have two rivals. One is poison, one is psychic. Oh boy. They have slowpoke. Huh. <laughs> um but Galarian Slowbro has a really, really cool uh It's got a really cool move and a really cool ability. So I believe it's ability. I don't know its name on something. Uh head. the ability is called Quick Draw. And if you are fighting a stronger opponent, we don't know what that means quite yet, but if you are fighting a stronger opponent, its speed is increased. Okay. 
We don't know what the percentage is. We don't know how fast. But if it's like most things, it's probably either 1.5 or times 2. Yeah, it's probably it, probably one stage is the way I would see it. Um, if it's two stages, like... Like tail end? That's a lot. But slow bros based stats speed is slow to begin with. Again, slow bros is. Galarian slow bro, we don't know yet. Well, we're pretty sure we can, we can infer off of... Oh, yeah, for sure. Galarian sure. slow poke. Unless... Its speed skyrockets after its evolution. Which I'm not counting on, but... But Quick Draw seems like a very cool ability yeah, for, for sure. Slow Slowbro. For sure. Um, the other thing we know about is its signature move, which... Shell Sidearm. Yeah, which, due to the data mine of home... We kind of figured what it was. Yeah, that that's figured what it was. But it's a super sweet move. It is a special move that will hit against... Uh, physical or special defense, depending on which one would do more damage. Yep. So it's always going to do the most damage it possibly can. Yep. Which is super cool. Mm -hmm. So you're always going to based off your special attack. Yep. Which, when I first heard this, it wasn't clear that that's how it worked. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, then uh, I actually read, because I, I was at work when this was released. Yep. So I had to watch it that night when I got home. I woke up early. I was very excited. <laughs> to be fair, I also woke up early. But <laughs> um, when I got home, I actually got to finally watch the trailer and everything. And it showed, or the article that associated the, the thing explained everything. And said that it will always use your special attack against their worst defense. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that in and of itself is really cool, too. Oh, yeah. Not sure... How viable, you know, this is going to be in VGC based on exactly one move and exactly ability. Because we don't know base stats, anything else associated with it. All but I can it, tell you it's going to get Surf. Because Slowpoke learns Surf. Galarian Slowpoke learns Surf. Okay. I, know that I did not know that. Yep. Uh, Galarian Slowpoke does a very good job of being a weak policy setter for Torkoal. When does the world come to, Carl? I don't know. I saw it. That we're, we're, we're policy torquil. I don't know. I, I'm not surprised to hear those words. But it come sets out of its own mouth. sun, so Surf does less, and Slowpoke's special attack is absolute garbage. Is, uh, didn't you draft Slowpoke? Yep. Is that why? No. Well, it was for colossal shenanigans, right? Okay. It was to be able to do trick room stuff. Okay. It also gets heal pulse. Do does slow bro, uh slowpoke get poison attacks that we know? Of? I know it gets smog. It gets it got smog. I think it's about it though. So we don't know how deep its move pool goes yet. Yeah. Which I mean, granted, we'll know in two weeks. Yeah. Till then, we'll figure it out. Um, Other new moths here: Executor and Execute got confirmed. Um, what does a lowland Executor do for us? Uh, nothing because we can't get it. Uh, it's not going to be able to transfer in? You can transfer it in, but you can't get an Alolan Executor with, oh, with, you're smart. with you're the smart. mark on it. Because you can only get a Alolan Executor on Alola. Yep. It's just like, uh, it's just like... Right you. Right you. Yep. Uh, and Marowak. Um. Tangela and Tangrel got confirmed. Which I know you and I were kind of, uh, you it's do have open. Uh, we were kind of doing... We were kind of playing around with some of the new mods, looking at what they look like. Uh, and Tangrowth is one of those that we were messing with. Yeah, which... but it, it, it ended up not being very good. Yeah, And it gets Chlorophyll, and it gets, uh, like, Ancient Power and stuff, but it just wasn't very good. Uh, Kangaskhan. Bring back the Kangaskhan. We get to do so many things with Kangaskhan. The, what made Kangaskhan good was its Mega, and I... Really hope we don't see Mega anymore. Yeah, it's just, still got decent stats outside of Mega. Yeah, just shift delete Mega. <laughs> I know a lot of people are on the opposite opposite side of that fence, and I don't get it. I think Mega was awful. I, it's like everyone hates Dynamax but likes Mega. I'm just like, why? Mega is just the worst Dynamax. We didn't double our HP, but we got we doubled our damage. <laughs> we still got to double especially our especially damage. Especially with Kangaskhan. Permanently. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Like, parental bond, rock slide, was so absurd because especially in Gen Six, 
because your moves had a chance for their secondary effect on both hits. Yep. So Rock Slide just had, like, absurd amounts of chance to flinch. <laughs> uh, then, you know, you had Power Up Punch, which also got nerfed in Gen 7. Yep. Like, Parental Bond as a whole got nerfed. Um, but, like, even even still, Kangaskhan still gets Drain Punch, still gets Sucker Punch. But, again, potentially. We don't know official movesets yet. These seem this 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 build we have seems very viable if it is like if it keeps its moveset. Sucker Punch is something that it'll probably keep because it is a normal type. Needs to have they most normal types need to have a good way to deal with ghost types because otherwise they just never see play. And yep. that's against what Pokemon wants to be doing. Um, and like we can be scrappy and like scrappy fake out seems cool, but we also get inner focus, which means we can't be fake out, and uh, we ignore intimidate. So, like, those those two are all... Oh, I did not know Scrappy. I was about to say, Scrappy should be doing Ghost Intimidate as well. I did not know that. So, Scrappy's probably just better than, right? Yeah, just so we can fake out Dragon Ball. Yep. I'm on board with that. Because we were talking before, it's just like, we don't have a solid answer to Dragon Ball. And obviously, we would need to do damage counts and everything else for Kangaskhan, but... Just like everything else, but having King being able to, to flinch the dragon type, the dragon ghost is real strong. Yeah, that's that's a point where I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Um, you got rid of my list. Boop. <laughs> cool. Um, Another see. one. Starmie got Starmie and Star you got confirmed. I don't really think that means. Anything. I don't know if it means anything, but it's just like cool things to think about. Stormy holds a special place in my heart because I speed ran, you know, let's go for He's like, like two weeks. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have a, my my spot still on the leaderboard somewhere, like like forty seventh or something. I don't think I actually have an official time for like eighty percent. But at one point I was the world record holder for a kick from Koga. There's only two people on the board, but <laughs> True. but I was the first. <laughs> yep. And then the, that same day my record got broke. I, I broke my own record, and then, like, two hours later, someone broke it. I can't even remember who it is. Um, we got Scyther and Scizor. Those those are big. Yeah. Um, we were... Uh, uh, you were running around doing something, and I was doing... I was just messing around with Scizor. And one of the old builds that they ran in, I think, Gen 6 or Gen 7, was Choice Band Technician. Mm-hmm. And we are just like, all right, we can, we can work on this. And so I started looking at stats... An adamant 252 attack puts us at 200. Yep. So now we put choice band on. And we go to 300. And then we add technician bullet punch. Which is a lot. <laughs> and suddenly we're dealing a lot of damage. Yep. Um, so this is one with we kind of ran calcs on. And, and we started like, playing around with it, like see what we can oko. Um, um, turns no. out life orb... With Dynamax means we can Oko Togekiss and we can Oko Dragapult without Dynamax. And like, if we're Dynamaxing, like, we get, uh, uh, you know, previously we got access to Aerial Ace, which also is boosted by Technician, which also means we get Max Airstream, which is also huge. Like, is the bug move even worth it? It, it depends. Like, there are points where I think it could be okay, but, like, we don't see good like there's nothing really we're hitting that it matters like we have bullet punch for specifically any of the psychic types that's not in bd because all of the psychic types in this generation have fairy type attached to it and like tyranitar we have bullet punch for exactly. like it resists it's neutral to bug anyway because it's rock right yeah i think so so like we also get access to superpower if we really care about that much against Titar. like Tzar and Excadrill. Um, we have access to Roost because of Scyther. Yep. Which is really interesting as well. Like, that's something that historically Scizor has ran. Um, like, if we're doing... If we're doing Roost things, we also have access to Swords Dance. Which... <laughs> Pretty decent. <laughs> that's going to get real out of hand real quick. Mm-hmm. But... The, the big thing is, like, 
we have priority with bullet punch. Which yeah, is just that's huge. the huge thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Scizor has been a pain in singles for years, and I'm I'm actually really glad to see it back. Agreed. I, I'm interested to see what it can actually do. Yeah. Um, other confirmed Pokemon just kind of rambling off here. Tauros, Scarberry, Wismerline, Shinxline. You, you were talking about Scarberry, I'm just like, well, it's just like worse Corviknight, right? Yeah, it is just worse Corviknight now, because we didn't have Corviknight before. Yeah. So, unfortunately, Scarmory, the, the once glorious leader of OU back in forever ago with spikes and stuff, is just gone. Yeah. Uh, Whisper Lion with Exploud on the tail end there. Whatever. Uh, being able to boom burst ghost types is pretty cool. Sure. Uh, Fort Spray it. Luxray line, which Not is good. meh. Uh, Sandile to Crocodile. Yeah, we get Crocodiles and we can. It's like ground version of... It, it, it's, it's ground dark <laughs> Gyarados. So we get rid of our four times weakness, but we add like four more weaknesses. <laughs> but we're also bulkier. True. But we're slower, right? Are we we're, slower? We're 92 speed. What's Gyarados' speed? 95. So not much slower, actually. I'm making numbers up off the oh. top of my head. You don't actually know, <laughs> Mr. I play Gyarados. Okay, look, I just run people over. 81. We so are we faster. are way slower. No, we're faster. We're 90. Yeah, I meant Gyarados oh, is oh. slower. Yeah. I know what I mean. Come on, man. So, Crocodile is faster. So, um, I follow False Swipe Gaming. I don't know if you've ever followed them, but they do every Sunday they release a video of. It's a series called How Good Was. This oh, yeah, I've seen those on YouTube, yeah. So, it's a really cool series, but they go over specifically, like, singles, mm -hmm. and they touch on, like, VGC doubles, if that Pokemon has ever had, like, placings. Um, and Crocodile, they, they recently did a vi video on Crocodile within the last, like, a few months, mm -hmm. and this actually led me down a pretty deep rabbit hole with Scrafty. Oh, God. Uh, with Moxie, because he used to run Crocodile with Moxie and Choice Scarf. So Squ Choice Scarf allowed you to outspeed everything. Your attack is already good enough where you can just start beating things down. So you get your Moxie boost. Mm -hmm. So you get out of hand really quickly if you're not answered. Um, it, it had some success in doubles. Granted, this is, we're talking about, like, Gen 5 era. And then, obviously, you know, Ubers have happened and et cetera, et cetera. But, like, Crocodile has had previously success in doubles. Yeah. So, it, also, it's an Intimidator. It's a ground-based Intimidator, which, I mean, the only other one is Landorus, I believe. So, yes. Like, that's something interesting as well. Um, the big problem I see with it is Conkledur. Yeah, like Conkledur. It, it's, it's, another, it's another dark type that Conkledur doesn't really care about. But, but we also have Intimidate. Yeah. So, like, we are better against Conkledur than others, but I don't think it really matters. Like, what? Conkledur just hits really hard. We get a flying type move. What is it? Oh, we get Aerial Ace. Yeah, we can max their stream. That's not bad. Um, I was looking through. We get Rock Slide. We get... We get Dragon Claw. We get Dragon Claw. We get Which, Dragon Tail. I don't think we need the Dragon-based move because we're dark. And, like, the only real dragon we care about in the swarm right now is Dragon Bolt. Yep. Do we know if we're getting Salamence anytime soon? Not quite yet. Okay. But it could eventually pop up. That's one I hope we get. Like, I know... Uh, Beldum is confirmed for the Crown Tundra, which, yep. I mean, obviously we'll talk about when that comes up. Yeah, I'm excited to get Metagross back. But Salamence is obviously one that I hold near and dear to my heart, with Gen 3 being the best gen that's ever been made. So, I would be interested in seeing where Salamence comes in. Yeah. If it does. Granted, we don't know everything, so. Mm -hmm. um, back to this list here, we got Amolga confirmed. 
it's whatever. Uh, mind food, mind shall. I'm not sure what they even do. Uh, they have access to fake out. Like that's the only notable thing I can think of. Oh, what head. their abilities are: inner focus, regenerator, and reckless. Reckless means we can hit high jump kick really hard. Yeah. Which I think that's his worst version of Hitmonlee at that point. Like Hitmonlee does the same thing, but uh, me and Shao gets access to. Wow. Those are weird stats. Yeah, we have, like, no bulk. <laughs> 60 defenses, but we have 125 attack and 105 speed. We are the definition of glass cannon. Um, got Dredgeon, which Whatever. doesn't do anything really. He's cool, but it doesn't do anything. Buffalot, also kind of weird. Um, Volcarona, which we, we touched on last week. Talonflame, uh, Talon which, Talon which we touched on last week. Drowsy. Uh, it's, 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 we have Tete here. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Time out. We lost Drowgy originally because it, they're freaking legendary and needed to be Poison Dragon. Eternatus says Poison Dragon. You know, I always forget that that thing exists. Yeah, because the it builds and builds and builds, and you do that little thing, you know, and then you go back onto your game and do your whole story. You literally game. fight it once, and you're like, all right, cool. We're yeah, we're done here. Uh, so we lost Eternatus for Drowgy. But we're getting Drowgy back, and Drowgy's actually decent. Like, we were doing calcs earlier. Drowgy can Oko bulky Koikis with choice specs. It carries Assault Vest really well. Without investment, you're at 210 or something. Yeah, Assault Vest, natural bulk is 145. Uh, so with Vest, it takes you to 2-something. Which, I mean, that's absurd. That's yeah. absurd numbers. Um, notably, you are getting hit for super effective hits from uh, from Junkie Gifts because you're also poisoned, so Dazzling Gleam is not super effective anymore. Yeah. Um, and, like, your big weaknesses are Ice, Ground, Psychic, and Dragon. So, Ground and Dragon are the two dominant ones there. Yeah, Ice is, like, cool. It's played. Like, Lapras but, is the big one. Yeah. But... G-Max Resonance doesn't usually do a whole ton of damage because usually your ice move is freeze-dry, which yeah, doesn't translate very much. That's the big thing, is like, ice, historically, is a special base attack, which our special defense is absurd. Psychic, same thing. Yeah. Like you, you don't really see physical psychic types. Like, we have Gallade. Like, Gallade exists. Yeah. But when was the last time you saw Gallade actually played? Exactly. So, so we gotta worry about ground types and dragon types. Which, in Trick Room, we beat Dragapult, 100%. Oh, yeah, we, we, we did Kelps. We Oko Dynamax Dragapult. Without being Dynamax. Yeah. That's the thing, is we do 100 and some percent. 101 to 110 to Dynamax Dragapult. So, it is out of here. Like, that is that is one we're not worried about. Yeah. The problem is, is we die to Dragapult. We gotta have Trick Room. Yep. He is a Trick Room abuser, and that's kind of what Draghi has been doing Because anyway. it has pace 44, 44 speed. Yeah. Which, is, which that's, that's actually really, really good for Trick Room. For Trick Room, yes. Otherwise, it's awful. <laughs> but, luckily, Trick Room does exist. Trick Room is actually really good in this minute, and that's why it's just like, this thing's really good. <laughs> Plus, it's shiny as, like, Toxtricity. Yeah. It's, like, low-key tox Toxtricity. It's cool looking, I guess. I like it. Um, what other ones? I think that's it for all the Pokemon that we know of. There's about 60 okay. here. One that's not on this list that was in the trailer that I want to talk about is Magmar. We don't know which one he's in, though. That's the thing. We know Elekid is in... Crown Tundra, so it makes sense that Magmar is also in Crown Tundra. But I don't want it to be, because well, I want it now. That's probably where it's going to be. It could be in this one, but they would have listed it here. Because, as I talked about last week on my Let's Play episode... Magmortar. I want Magmortar. I want Magmortar and I want Electrifier. And I want to run people over with them. Yeah. And I don't think it's very good, but I want to try it anyway. <laughs> um, notably, something we haven't touched on is we have hidden abilities on our starters now. Oh, yeah, that's available right now, actually. Yep, it was released it was like... on Monday. Tuesday? What was the thing? Tuesday? Tuesday. So, um, by the time this is out, it's basically a week from now. Um, what you have to do is you have to go into home, home. transfer Gosh. something from Sword and Shield to home, yep. close the app, 
get on your phone app, it'll say, hey, here these are. You can then reopen it on your Switch to be able to transfer them into your game. Yep. I already have my competitive role of I don't. I haven't even got them yet. Um, I'm probably going to rework on Libero Cinderace here in a little while, and that's probably all the ones I'm going to work on. Sniper and Teleon isn't as exciting. Sniper is still better than... Torrent. But is it, though? Like... Depends on what you're doing with your Like, Inteleon. we want to focus Sash on Inteleon, because, like... Sometimes. My build did. Like, the, the one I played at Collinsville, I played Expert Focus Sash. Expert Belt. Did we have Expert Belt? We had Expert Belt. Because Focus Sash was on, um... Something else. I'm trying to think what that team was now. Because <laughs> we didn't play Whimsicott. We had a Tailwind Setter, but I don't think it was Whimsicott. Oh, no, it was Butterfree, wasn't it? No, because no. we cut Butterfree. Because we played... Uh, that was no, the original... it was Whimsicott then. Whimsicott was the only Tailwind Setter we had. We were using it because we had to play with Butterfree. I had a shiny Whimsicott for Collins. I did not, and I was jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so, if that's the case, then, yeah, it was... That's where it was at. Which means we were running... Yeah, okay, cool. Um... So, one of the big things, I know last week we talked about all the new moves, and we have... A couple of them. Yeah, like, a couple new things that are confirmed. Uh, so, we have Wicked Blow and Surging Strikes, which are... These are Urshifu's, probably Urshifu's yeah. uh, signatures for each type. And they're moves that always crit, which is really cool. Yep. Um, and I really hope these don't... I, I, I just... Don't know if I want this in VGC. Like I said, we don't know what the stats are yet. True. When we get the stats, we'll figure it out. But, like, I don't know what the highest stats currently on a non-legendary in this game is. I think Dragapult's probably probably one of the closest ones. Probably. And, I mean, this thing is going to hit real hard, man. Yep. Um, it, we have... defenses could be garbage. It could be. And speed could be garbage. Like, yep, it could be super duper slow and not do anything. We don't know. Um, so we have Burning Jealousy. Which, which is the move you were excited about. Uh, it creates a pool that damages all opposing Pokemon. So this is similar to... Um, kind of like... I I thought Burning Jealousy was the one that burnt if they were boosted this turn. Uh, I thought it dealt more damage if they were boosted. Hmm. It burns opponents that had a stat boost during this turn. Okay. 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 Cool. So, hopefully this goes on, like, Torkoal. Because that means, like, Torkoal's going to be an okay answer to, like, Dynamax that's Pokemon. OP on to that's OP on Torkoal. Yeah. Like, if this gets to be on, like, Torkoal, and, like, they go for, like, a max airstream, you're like, all right, cool, you're burnt. <laughs> I'm just in, knock it off. I'm just in Grassy Glide. <laughs> Grassy Glide, I'm assuming, is going to be on Rillaboom. Do we know that for sure? No, but it is a move tutor move. So oh, these are move tutor moves. Most of these are move tutor moves. Okay, cool. Some of them aren't, like the Wicked Blows and the Surging Strikes, yeah. but Burning Jealousy is, Grassy Glide is, um, Jungle Healing, of course, is a rude special signature move, and Shell Sidearm is uh, Slow Bros signature, which we talked about earlier. But Grassy Glide is priority on Grassy Terrain. Which, again, we talked about last week with these being terrain-based moves. It was kind of on the right track. Yeah. So I'm assuming the others are also going to be move to moves based on terrain that do something related to it. So this is a What's grass special, special move. It's special specifically. So it's not actually as good on Rillaboom as we think it would be. True. Because Rillaboom's special attack is kind of garbage, isn't it? it it's not it's not attack. And no, nowhere near its attack. Isn't it, its attack like 105 or something? Uh, 105, 125, somewhere in there. And its speed is 85? Attack is... 125. 125, yep. Interesting. Special attack is 60. Mm, that is much yeah. worse. So it's not I mean, actually that good on... If it's a special move, confirmed to be special move, that's actually not very good. Or is it? Because we can trigger policy with it. That is true, but what are we triggering with the grass type policy? That we can't already trigger. Mylotic. And we already have Bolt Switch for that. 
Yeah, but that, like, hits hard. Depends on the Pokemon. True. Like, we can we can do a physical right shoot and probably, probably not hit very hard because Melodic Special Defense is outrageous anyway. True. And then we get to swap into another Pokemon that can help protect Melodic instead of being stuck with our Rillaboom. But, <laughs> but, but, and hear me out on this, you know what right you can't trigger policy on? Tyranitar. That one is actually played. <laughs> but we already have ways to do that. Yeah, but now you also get fake out support while doing it. But you can't do both. Why can't you? You you do fake out, and then your Tyranitar gets blown up. <laughs> but you you fake out one, and then they set up they Dynamax and blow up your Tyranitar. So I was getting ready to say, say that's why you fake out the one who Dynamaxes. Immediately caught myself. <laughs> Good job. Good job. By the way, the first time I ever had that happen, I'm just like, but, but I used fake out. Why? What? <laughs> and then you know, I read the rules. I'm like, oh, I'm just bad. <laughs> exactly. So, um, other mods that we saw in the trailers. Um, good question. I know we saw. <sighs> So I don't know if you have watched the A Drive video, but he claims that there's a new Pokemon. Yeah, I saw that. It's based on basically no information. Based on this little itty bitty spot that looks like the top of a vanilla. But it doesn't match the sprite of vanilla. But you know what it does kind of match? Vanillish. The middle Evo. Hmm. I. I saw that, I'm just like, that doesn't make sense. Like, I... Obviously, we're getting new Mons, because we have Kupfu, and we have, like, Slowbro, but... I just don't understand... the idea behind getting a new Mon. Like, it could be. It, it legitimately could be. Yeah, they could do new mons mixed with, and it'd be it'd be a breath of breath of fresh air there, just having like new mons plus old mons all mixed together, and that'd be really cool. It could be Galarian form, but we'd like, get, we'd of get, what? exactly. You know? So, but we have no concrete information other than, hey, there's a sprite that may or may not be a thing that we don't know about. Oh, we forgot about Absol. Does that matter? I don't know. We got Ab Absol. I mean, we have, it has, like, Super Luck and Night Slash. That was, like, that was the thing, though. That's the other Pokemon yeah. in the image yeah. with the Pokemon we don't know what it is. It's Absol. It was in both. Which, sure. Again, there may be a connection. Who knows? But it could be a pre-form of Absol. Who knows? It could just be, like, cast form. Could I, be. I, I read that. I'm just like, oh, that actually makes sense. It could just be, like, you know, snowing cast form. Yeah, that actually doesn't, like, sound like a terrible idea. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, we got the Gigantamaxes for Venusaur and Blastoise confirmed. Which, granted, we already knew about. Uh, but we didn't know what the moves were going to do. Oh, yeah, so... They are, are... They're, they're grass and water wildfire. Yep. They just do damage over time. Which is really cool, uh, in all actuality. I think that's really cool. Grass isn't played very much, so Venusaur's actual, like, move deals damage to almost everything. Mm -hmm. Besides other Venusaurs. Like, Venusaur and potentially Rillaboom now. Like, it's like, that's it. That's the only two mods you gotta dodge, and that's not bad at all. I, I legitimately think Rillaboom, like, gaining access to... Oh, getting his grassy terrain's insane. Yeah, I think that's a huge you, boost. You throw that into sand. Yeah. And, like, he slots into sand perfectly now. T-Tar loves it because he ain't got to worry about ground-type moves. He ain't got to worry about Earthquake. And, like, Rillaboom doesn't unsand because he's just recovering it. So. Uh, the other cool thing is you can't, you don't blow up your own T-Tar triggering policy now with Earthquake from Excadrill. That's the real cool thing. So. And, like, Rillaboom gets to deal with, like, the Rotom Rot washes and the Milotics that Sand doesn't like. Yep. So... There's a lot of really interesting things that really boom does for sand that could be could be very good. Mm -hmm. um, you want to talk Cinderace? Libero is just worse protein. It's literally the same. But the, the Mon is just worse. 
It's literally faster. That doesn't mean squat. So the big thing, um, the big thing that I've seen talked about, specifically Cinderace versus Greninja, is you never knew what Greninja was doing. Greninja's move pool was wide enough that it got to do this really cool, like, mixed sweeper thing if it needed to. Yep. You didn't know how they were playing Greninja until it started happening. Because Greninja also had, like, a signature move that prevented them from switching or doing something. I can't I remember know. what it does. But, like, then you're adding Protean on top of that, and it's just like, Okay, so... Who knows what type it's going to be this go-around. Yeah. Whereas Cinderace has, like, four or five moves you can play on it. Yep. And none of them bode well for Cinderace in general. And, like, the big thing is, like, you don't have a way of resisting water. Nope. Which water is really prevalent. Uh, and really ground. good. That's a hard one, too. Like, you can hope, well, you, hope you bounce in time and not get baited into a rock-type move. Yep. That's like the best thing you can think of. The best and situation you can hope for. I've seen, like, uh, Moxie Boosted posted a video of him playing on ladder with it. And, like, Cinderace was pretty good there. But I also think that Cinderace is really new for people playing, playing on ladder. And they're not anticipating it. And they don't know how to play around it yet. Yep. So, I think in this next week, Cinderace could be good if you're trying, tr you know, trying something new. Past that, I think once people realize that it has... Like, Sucker Punch, Pyro Ball, Iron Head, or Gunk Shot. Like, I think those and are basically in the same slot. Bounce, Protect. High Jump Kick. Which I don't think... Like people well, are I'm going it. through the types that yeah. you get. I think people are playing it, and I don't think High Jump Kick is even good on it. Like, you want to Max Dynamax, Knuckle raises your attack. So but like, Max Knuckle sucks. Max Knuckle <laughs> hits T-Tar. True. And T Tar is a problem. Iron Head also hits T Tar and boosts your defense. But it's hit. not four times. True. And again, I don't I don't know couch off the top of my head. That's not something I've done. But I'm assuming T Tar doesn't like taking a max knuckle. No, it never does. So conveniently, we already imported this Cinderace Set on here. Earlier. Which conveniently already has high jump kick on it. Man, we're smart. It's like we plan for things. I know, right? We actually, like, we're doing... That's why I spent time doing this. Uh, you want to change that T-Tars level for me? <laughs> so it's hey. not doing... Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is to a level 100 T-Tar. It does 88 to 105%. Okay, it's dead. 400% <laughs> damage. Dynamax is still dead. Would you look at that? More importantly, if we Dynamax, it's... Pretty dang close. Also, we're still oh, on Chase yeah, yeah, change that to life one for me. Come on, Carl. <laughs> you're making me babble on the air like an idiot. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> People are going to judge me. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, look at that. We still KO. All right, cool. So, yeah, high jump kick's probably correct. Yeah, you probably dirt right or something. Can we kill Excredo? Uh, no, it has Sash. That's why you just double into it. Take it, oh, go us. <laughs> Sand Rush is gonna get us. <laughs> uh, Sand Rush is real fast, man. <laughs> if, if it is Sand Rush and not Wolf Breaker, we lose. If it is Sand Rush, we die. But if it's not Sand Rush, we win. Well, you say that, but, uh, I mean... Like I said, if it's not Sand Rush, we win. Actually, if it is Sand Rush, I mean, if it's not Sand Rush, like, obviously we Oko it. But even if our, if our high jump kick misses, can we live? If we change from... Fire to ground? I mean, a fire to fighting? Like, can we live in Earthquake then? Yes. Interesting. Iron Head's gonna mess us up. Yeah. Actually, no, we probably can't because High Jump Kick is gonna recoil. If we miss. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If we miss, 
If we miss, we don't survive. But if we were taking 50% crash damage anyway, so... <laughs> Oh, is that just a flat 50%? Yeah, it's a flat 50. They fixed that. Okay. We're not playing on Gen 1 anymore. We're Come on! Out. I want to take my one point of damage and it'd be okay. No. <laughs> but yeah, so if it's not Sand Rush, or if we have a way to get rid of Sand... Save a light. There you go. Actually, I mean, that's the thing. Is like That's actually not a bad idea. Sand Save like it's... Is like, checks... Both sand mons really well. Yep. High jump kick does a real good job. Pending that it's not sand rush. And the problem is, is like, we can deal with one, we can't deal with both. And like, we're life orb. The thing is, uh, if we go, if we just die to max max knuckle, we turn to fighting type. So we resist the rock slide coming, the rock move out of T tar, and Excadrill, uh, we just fake out with the sable with the sable. But then we're not changing sand. We don't have to change sand at the moment. Then, okay. we, then we just prankster. Well, that's the thing. No, then we just prankster set up the other set up our weather after we've taken care of the Tyranitar. No, I'm saying the if it's Excadrill, if it's Sand Rush, we have to change weather first. Fake out, Captain. Dynamax, Captain. I would think if they Dynamax the extra, then we just take out the extra drill. It's faster than us. This is our life orb set. We're running protect. I'm a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Quit harassing me on the air. I'm like, come on. <laughs> I don't approve of this. I'm being harassed. Like, this is our life orb set. We have protect. We're not locked into our choice side. Look, anymore. okay, it wasn't on the calculator. I was looking at the calculator. <laughs> you ignore the fact that we were literally looking at each other. I was looking at the calculator. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, that's the thing. It's like, if they if they Dynamax the extra drill, if they Dynamax the extra drill, one, they're dumb. Tyranitar is usually going to carry the weakness policy. That's the thing that's going to carry their game. And that just dies to what we found out to Cinderace. And we just fake out the extra. And then we set the weather and blow up the extra. Alright, maybe Cinderace is better than you're giving it credit for. With high jump kick, it's great. Your build. <laughs> well, you know, look. Wanted to I run was, gunk shot. I was trying things. What are we I, gonna I, do I, forgot, like, I forgot I had Iron Head. What are we going to run with gunk shot? What would, what would Gunkshot even do? We run it next to Sylveon. So Sylveon gets a special attack boost. That's, You're not thinking outside that the box. Seem, here. That doesn't seem You're not thinking all. outside the box here. Fun fact Cloister? Choice Scarf Cloister can Oko Cinderace. Well, yeah, you get the freaking. You get both Rock Blast, just fucking. Yeah, Rock, rock Blast just says. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Just blow them up. We don't Oko it into Dynamaxes. I've, do, I've done this calc. I know this calc. <laughs> um, yeah, outside of that, that's all the other mods we really know about. Uh, I'm excited for Gigantamax Venusaur. Because it needs help. It needs help being good. Yeah. Blastoise. Oh, goodness. There's so many water types. I, don't think, I think this makes Blastoise worse. I legitimately don't think it does anything for Blastoise. Like, like, Blastoise already isn't great. Like, it's already, like, kind of bad, and then it just gets... The Gigantamax is just a bait. I agree. G-Max Cannonade means it's just, like, wildfire for not water types. No, here's the thing. Cannonade means that you're not setting up rain to deal with the weather. That's the problem. With yeah. It. And that's terrible. On top of the fact that there's already a bunch of water bonds with Lapras and Milotic and Gastrodon and, and Jellicent. Oh and god, it's Gastrodon just eats it alive. It's like, it alright, cool, thanks. I'll just take that special attack boost and walk away now. Like, Rotom. Like, I, I'm, i you know, quickly running out of water bonds, but like, I just named five off the top of my head that are all good. All common, too. Yeah. So it's just like, K. Okay. Um, so there's... This does nothing to any of them. And, like, then you're looking at, like, like, uh, Colossal on the other side. It's just like, K? 
So you're dead. <laughs> like, Venusaur on the other side. K, you're dead. So, like, cool, you got to do your thing, but your thing doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, the only other thing we didn't talk about is Inteleon getting Sniper, which isn't super duper important. I mean, we kind of touched on it. Like... Sniper's okay, but, like, do we have any high crit moves, actually? Good question. Uh, the notable thing is we also are getting the Gigantamax starters, which their attacks all ignore redirection. Yep, that's the cool part. So, not sure if that means anything for anybody, but, you know. Yeah, I actually don't think any of Inteleon's moves are high crit chance. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not either. Where's my focus energy? No, we just ran alongside G-Max, my champ. There you go. There's your focus energy. We put a razor claw on it. Yeah, just... Or, or just scope lens. There we go. That's the, that's yeah. the actual one. Well, either one's fine. Yeah. They all get, the they're all there. Uh, but, like, critting people then is... It's great. Problem is, is we have speed with champ. Exactly. So, so we're not going to get our focus energy off before we hit. We set up trick. Invert the speeds. Oh, yes. We want our base 109 Inteleon in our trick room team. Uh, base 120. Sorry, I was close. Darn, we made it faster. <laughs> Ready to move on to teams of the week here? Uh, is there anything else we want to touch on before that? We've been rambling for an hour on this, just the DLC. And the worst part is, like, before we started, we are just like, we can literally talk about this for, like, three hours. And is there anything okay. else we need to know about? Like... Um... No? Uh, we know we have Reggie Leakey and Reggie... Red Reggie Leakey and Electric Cash Register. Did you see the... So, I don't know if you want... You <laughs> Sorry, to What? So, uh, apparently, according to Google Translate, Reggie Oleki's name in Japanese translates to Register Electric. Cash Register Electric. If I could fit that all in a nickname, that would be its nickname when I catch it. Or I might just name it Cash Register. No, you just call it POS, which is Point of Purchase, or, <laughs> or Point of Service. <laughs> Uh, but I worked at a gas station too long to know these things. <laughs> so you can call it the Ruby system, which is a specific brand of, of cash registers. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can ramble about cash registers all day if that's what we're doing now. No, we're not doing that. That's... <laughs> Look, you started this. What do we got here? Cerebi released something about them having a tournament? Uh, that is the Pokemon Players Cup nonsense. We'll get into that another day. Well, they also... I saw something um, about them releasing a tournament. I th uh, Discord. It was on General or Pokemon. I can't remember which one. Uh, that's Smogon. Oh, Smogon. My bad. I was about to say, Cerebi doesn't, do, Cerebi doesn't really do I was close. Things. Uh, I was on Cerebi to find more about the Galarian forms for Tundra. Oh yeah, we got birds. We got information about the birds. They form a different trio. Uh, psychic, Fighting, and Dark. Moltres got the shaft again. Man. Yeah, Moltres is just ruined. It's, worst part is, is like, Zapdos could actually be good. At, There's even, no could. <laughs> I mean, it, it could. I think I'd rather, I'd rather have Cantonian Zapdos, but, like, this is cool. I mean, it has uh, defiant... We're neutral to rock? Sure. We hit Tyranitar really hard. Um, we know it has a signature move, right? We have those... It has. It don't, we don't know the name of the move, but the signature move for Zapdos is a fighting site move that lowers defense 100% of the time. That's really sweet. It also has defiant. Which is also really good. Uh, Articuno also you. has competitive, which is also really, really good. good. Its signature move is a psychic type move that has a chance to freeze. Which is absurd. I believe, it, so I believe it's 10% cool. chance to freeze, but it's still absurd. And then you have Moltres that has Berserk, Berserk and, and is flinches 
is cool. dark and flying into okay cool so we talked about the two birds that are relevant yep if like if these are if, like these are allowed to be you see i think these are cool yeah i and i mean zapdos historically has been meaning articuno and moltres also have been but like moltres has always sucked articuno has been whatever it doesn't have a four times weakness to rock anymore. <laughs> that is a huge thing. It doesn't have a weakness to fire. That too. Like, the, that in and of itself, those two, are, makes Articuno actually where it can be playable. Let's see here. We're weak to dark, we're weak to rock, we're weak to ice. Um, notably, Articuno historically, I believe, has gotten Tailwind. So like, That's a good one. This could be just like, like, this could be Sigilith, but like with competitive. That's insane. That sounds cool. That's insane. But it's going to have legendary stats because it's a legendary. Yeah. So it's going to be real powerful, most likely. It could be super bulky, and then it's just like, all right, whatever. Uh, let's see here. Regilecki and Regidrago. Uh, Regilecki is pretty cool. Its uh, ability is transistor. We don't know anything about it. Uh, Regidrago's ability is Dragon's Maw, and we have no idea what that does either. Cool. Uh, Dragon's Maw sounds like a really cool ability for the fact that its arms make a dragon's head. And it's got, like, boosters on its feet. Yeah. I think this is a really cool design. I think these are actually both really cool designs. I I like both of them. The typing seem weird. The Reggie Drago makes more sense than the Reggie Alecky, though. Is it weird that there's only two of them? That puts us on a total of six Reggies if you count Reggie Gigas in there. Which, I mean, we may. Like, but, like, Reggie Gigas was always its own thing, too. Yeah. You know? So, it, it feels weird to not have a triangle here. Don't have a pentagon. Uh, or, like, five of them. Uh, so... Because, notably... Okay, this is going to sound really weird, but there's seven eyes on... Reggie Draco. There's six on Reggie Lecky. Mm-hmm. Do those mean anything, or am I digging too far into this? Uh, Could this actually mean there's more? And like, these are the numbers of the Reggies? No, there's seven on, on Reggie Lecky. One, oh, two, is three, there? four, five, six, seven. Oh, I was doing two Vs to make six. Yeah, there's one in the middle, too. All right, never mind. I'm reading too much into it. Yeah, reading too much into it. Lame. Uh, but yeah, so it's like, Reggie Drago seems much better than Reggie Alecky. Unless, until we figure out what Transistor, Transistor does. Transistor might be insane. <laughs> and, you know, it, it could be that Reggie Alecky has, like, hella high special attack and hella high speed. Could be. And, like, that could make it viable. Whereas, like, Reggie Draco could have, like, really high attack and, like, decent defense stats. And, like, could be viable in Trick Room then. And just, like, all right, these are these are things that like again. This is all speculation. We have no idea what these stats look like. We have no idea what these Pokemon actually do, other than one's electric, one's dragon. Yep. Which we could infer f- forever ago. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. We just now have names. I like Reggie Volt and Reggie Vern that A Drive has been using. I like those. I don't like Vern. I, I, I do. I like Reggie Drago. Drago. I like Volt. I definitely like Reggie Volt more. Reggie Volt. Reggie Volt. <laughs> Reggie Lecky is just like that one. That one doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Uh, someone, he, he drive posted something on Twitter, and someone got on there and was like, "Well, uh, Reggie Lecky. I mean, Lecky is like slang for electricity in England." And someone gets on there like, "I'm from England. I have lived here my entire life." I have never heard that ever. (laughs) (laughs) Just like, if you're gonna, you know, make stuff up, make it believable. Yeah, like, get get, get your things right. Okay, so, teams of the week here. We got three this week out of the five or six that were submitted to us, because it's about an hour in and we got a whole lot of time left. Yeah, let's just kill some time here at the end, call it a day. Uh, So this first one is really weird. I'm, I'm gonna go on and say this one's weird. You gotta you gotta dig deep into this one to figure out what the heck's going on here. This is all you, man. So this is all you. Obstagoon with leftovers and defiant. Galissapod with assault vest and emergency exit. Morpico with red card. 
Al creamy G Max with Shell Bell and Sweet Veil. Meaning we can't be put to sleep, right? Yeah. You or your allies cannot be put to sleep. Cool. Uh, Blossom with Focus Sash and Healer. Gotta get healer the... does. Increases your health return on moves that drain health or restore health. Does that trigger off of like leftovers and grassy terrain as well? I'm not sure on things outside of your control, but I know for moves like Strength Sap, Giga Drain, it okay. increases like cool. that. And then G Max Corviknight with Rocky Helmet, Mirror Armor, normal stuff there. This this is probably the most normal Pokemon in the set. But Blossom. So Blossom has a decent speed tier. Um, kind of fast sleep powder. Not really. Also gets access. It's really cool. It gets access to Helping Hand and Strength Sap. So if we we're if we we're wanting to do sleep powder shenanigans, it also has access to chlorophyll, I believe. Yes. I believe it's one of, like, the seven Pokemon in this game that has chlorophyll or whatever. Yep. You know, on top of the, the other, like, three that we're getting out of the DLC. So, if you want to do weather things, you can do weather things. That is not a problem. It's not hard. But this is not a weather team, so we don't need chlorophyll, so instead we're doing healer. Yep, so we get bonus on our strength saps. Uh, Leaf Storm feels like... We need, we need a damaging attack. Like the worst grass type move we could put on this thing. I think I'd rather have a Giga Drain. Yeah. Like I'd take advantage of the fact we have healer. And more importantly, like if we don't get hit hard enough to go down to Sash, we can heal, heal back, back up, up to go to Sash. Yeah. Because like we are going to be hopefully faster than what we're facing against. So like then between Giga Drain and Strength Sap, we can probably get back to full health. I don't know what this Obstagon is doing. Well, it, our, it it's like it wants to be a support, but we're also ready to fight, but we only have knockoff as our damaging move. So, quick guard prevents... Uh, priority. Priority moves. Parting shots so we can deal with the... <sighs> Everything. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. It's a mon that exists here. Like I, it, I'm not a fan of the build, to be uh, honest. I think if we're doing defiant things, I want to be, like, this, several weeks back when we did the team building exercise, right? Yeah. Like, we talked about playing Guts Obstagoon. And, like, defiant just kind of fills that same role. And then instead of doing that, then we can just be, you know, just full-out attacker. But instead, we have defiant as a support mon, and that... Doesn't really do anything for us. There's a difference between like there's a difference between having access to like defiant on and, a support mod. And being an attacker and, and then yeah, being a support versus like melodic, which has competitive and is a support mod, you know? Because melodic also has the attacks to be able to back up. Where like its support attacks are like icy with. Also, every time it gets a stats drop, usually it's not a special attack drop, it's usually a uh, an attack drop or yeah, like, a speed drop or something like that so it's getting the plus two whereas to fight you're only getting plus one exactly typically you yeah. know um let's talk about this more pico what is it doing so we are or a wheel parting shot fake out ice fang so we are I'm not sure why we have ice fang I don't know what we're worried about dragon bolt don't you guess yeah, it, I mean, Aura Wheel is an electric type when we're when we're not in hangry it's mode. It's dark when we are in hangry mode. Yep. So like that hits Dragapult. It hits Togekiss when we're not. How does it switch? Uh, it is just every turn. It swaps every turn. Okay. Uh, so first time you do we want to protect on this? Probably. I don't know. We're red cards, so the minute something hits us, it goes away. Yeah, it goes away. Not us. It's yeah. not a check button. No, it goes. That's what I'm saying. The opponent, the opponent's the Pokemon that hit us goes away. Um. So my my thought process here is like, if we're facing down a Togekiss, and we're dark, right? Then we can protect and be able to get back to yep. electric. Yep. So that that's my thought process. Instead of having this ice ring here, we can just have protect. We don't even really then, need parting shot on this thing. Yeah. True, like, parting shot on it and Obstagoon is kind of a lot. So we, we could cut the parting shot point protect and then, like, 
three attacks plus protect seems fine on this. Like, I know Wolfie Glick was trying to get more Pico to num- to number one for a while. I don't know if he ever did. No, he's still trying. <laughs> sure, man. Um, look at this alchemy, and it's it's weird too. Shell bells are not something you see every day, especially along like decorate in aromatherapy. Uh, we got Dazzling Gleam and Mystical Fire as our moves, which at least we have Mystical Fire because we need, we need fire type cover. We don't have a Pokemon that actually can deal with like anything outside of like, we don't have a good way to deal with a Steel type at all. We have Drill Run and our Galissapod. But let's be honest, this thing I don't know what we're doing with this thing either. Salt Vest, Max Special Defense, Max Attack, 4 HP, Emergency Exit, I see why we're not investing in HP because emergency exit's going to get triggered most of the time anyway. We might as well have a little more bolt so we can... First impression hits like a truck. I remember playing through the story mode on uh, Sun and Moon and Guzma's Galissapod messed me up so many times with first impression. Every time. It hits so hard. But like... It's not that fast so fake out beats you. <laughs> uh, waterfall drill run rock slide it's got decent coverage moves here it's just like you can hit fire types you can hit steel types electric types does it hit u-turn I don't know probably not I don't think it does I, I don't know man if right. it does I ain't spending the time to look it up it's whatever this this Corbinite is like my favorite of the thing it's just like the. I don't know why we're max speed though get this out of here so we can set up tailwind faster and your max speed doesn't mean squat in this game for Toyo, for Corviknight. But but Carl. It mean no. It actual factual means literally nothing. But Carl, tailwind. Yeah, you can still just set it up without it and just we be gotta super go burn. Yeah, you just gotta be you, you you're gonna be fast without setting up max speed anyway. I mean yeah. You don't need it. Especially just put since it in we HP. are especially since we're also jolly, like jolly max speed. That's just a lot. I'd rather just be able to just blow him up like just have better attack and better HP be bulkier G-Max Corbinite likes bulk like we're, we're slow with Rocky Helmet I mean we're fast with Rocky Helmet like why why not be slow yeah, those, with Rocky Helmet those are two very different things yeah this just feels all over the place mm-hmm. so Obstagoon needs fixed this is Obstagoon is not a support one no it does not do the support thing very well especially either. like Adamant Adamant when our only attacking move is knockoff. Like, so specially defensive. Like, he's put so much into special defense and HP at this yet point. We're, yet we're adamant. Yeah. We don't have a single point of investment into our attack, yet we're a plus attack nature. Our attack's fairly high anyway, so that makes sense. You get the 10% on a high stat is a lot. Yeah, but general. you know what's even better? So when that 10% on even, like, higher because we're invested into it. Yeah. It's like, this needs to go, this needs to go, we keep knockoff, we get, like, drain punch, we get, like... Do we get double edge? I think so. I know we get facade, which, I mean, facade could be fine here. Yeah. Like... The minute they will wisp us, then we're fine like, still. Alright, cool. Smash you. Yeah. We have we have our go fast button, then. Just, like, just blow you up. Um, obstruct is, like, the one... T- <laughs> no, obstruct and knockoff, like, the saving grace on this thing. Oh, see, here's the thing is, Obstruct doesn't get rid of Will-O-Wisp. Well, it's just fine, because we don't care with yeah, Facade. If we're going to get hit, like, if we're going to get hit with Will-O-Wisp, we have Facade, so we can just go turbo mode and punch them back. Exactly. So it's like, the minute they hit us with Obstruct, we get to lower their attack by two? Lower their attack by one. It's King Shield. One or two, I can't remember. It's like King Shield. So, I don't know. This one is... All over the place. I don't like the show well on Alchemy either. I'd rather just have a berry. Right? Does or, show Bell see all the damage dealt by Dazzling Gleam or just by one? Yes. You have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> That's why I did not give you a definitive answer. Yeah, this is just all over the place. Some of the move choices are weird. It. I don't know. Moving on. Uh, this one, if I remember correctly. This is by Karibo. Yeah. It, it's I know. Right. I'm trying to get the next one too, oh, okay. which I believe doesn't have any money. 
Okay. So Karibo sent us sand plus stuff. Sand plus Neuvern, Espeon, Primaria is our water mon. That's a, that's a water mon you missed. Oh, yeah. You know, the most played one. Well, yeah. Second most played? Uh, I'm like, pretty sure this is probably the most played now. Is Lapras higher than that? Probably not anymore. Okay. I was going to say that. That's what, if there is one higher than it, that's the one I was going to put above it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Primarina is the most played now. And a Cinderor. So uh, it, this is, looks like a team come straight out of Gen 7. So my thing is I don't like Incineroar plus Sand. I mean, I, 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 I've never been a fan of that because it's three Mons weak to Fighting. Yeah, you're you, three Mons weak to Compilder. You like, kind of have a way to beat it, but... I mean, we have several ways to beat it between Primarina, Espeon, and Neuvern. But, like, each of those also has their own weakness to... Uh, dies to Ice Punch. <laughs> dies to Thunder Punch. <laughs> and Espeon can't take that many hits. It's not that bulky, but it has the focus sash. <laughs> we also have magic bounce, which gets rid of taunt and all that shenanigans. We could skill swap our magic bounce around. That's cute. That is pretty cute. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty straightforward. Sand Rush, Life Orb, Extra Drill. Sweetness Policy, Sand Stream, T-Tar. I mean, both of those are pretty stock. I don't, I don't see anything on there that's not stock at this point. Nope. Uh, they got rid of the rock type move for two ground type moves because Earthquake helps proc your weakness policy. Does it matter that we don't have rock coverage? Like, Charizard just dropped off in popularity and we have it on T-Tar, so. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. It's like you drop it for Earthquake so you can proc your Sandstream, your proc your weakness policy. Cool. Uh, it also doesn't hit Neuvern, notably. Uh, yeah. Neuvern has Frisk, which is really cool for a Tailwind setter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure why we have. Sunny day on our Neuvern when we care about sand? Because against opposing sand setters, we need to get rid of it so we can kill them. But we could do that with this thing. It also notably triggers Weather Ball on Espeon, so we have another fighting, uh, fire type move. So we can do with, like, Venusaur better. I'm just saying, these are alternate leads compared to. Put safety goggles on your Incineroar and you're fine. Look, man, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> you asked, I gave you an answer. It's not good enough. It, it, it's just, none of that doesn't... It seems weird. I it, will admit that. It doesn't seem like it's worth it at that point. Rather just have a like Boom Burst or Draco here. Right? I would rather like, just blow somebody up. We we have a high special attack as it is. Might as well abuse it. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you're going out on your terms, blow them up. Hit it, make sure you land a Draco Meteor before you get blown up. Because you do die to Ice Punch. You do die to Resonance. And you cannot hit Lapras back. Nope. <laughs> Flamethrower ain't gonna do nothing to it. Especially when Flamethrower is our only damaging move. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, cool, Sunny Day set up, but you wasted like, your turn setting Sunny Day. Unless I'm missing something with the Sunny Day, I just, I don't understand why it's here. The other thing, you're weakening your Primarina. Mm. When you do that, that's why it makes no sense to me. Why set up Sunny Day if you if you're worried about changing taking out Sand? Because Pre Marine is your best answer to Sand. Because you just click Hyper Voice and blow them up. I got nothing for you, man. I, that's, I, I that's why I'm at. I like there, there there is no sense for Sunny Day. It's like you're weakening your best answer to Sand by taking away opposing Sand, but. Your weather you're setting ruins your best answer. So we have to have Rain Dance instead, is what I'm hearing. Rain Dance would be fine probably on this team. Like, Rain Dance as your removal for weather things is probably better than taking Sunny Day and ruining your Primarina. But we're boosting our Incineroar. That's not worth it. I agree. Incineroar is there to be bulky. With this is a Hopperberry and the way the stats are lined up, it is not a... I'm going to blow you up with my fire type move style Pokemon. Yep. I still rather have Arcanine here though. Yep. I, if it was Arcanine, that's one thing. Um, but does Arcanine carry the safety goggles, or it, is it just normally very? You can put safety goggles on your Arcanine and be fine. I mean, I know you can, but well, do the, you the want to? The reason you do that is so you don't die to your own sand. Yeah, exactly. I, I um, understand the idea behind it. That's why you do it. You're bulky enough as the like, Arcanine. That you don't have to have the berry. You can also just run Morning Sun. 
Cool. Yeah, so, um, Espion. Espion's really cool. Uh, Weatherball is rock and, or I guess in this case, on this team, fire. Which, like, what are you even... I'm just sitting here trying to figure out, like, what are we worried about with having fire types? Like, fire type coverage. I guess, like, for Venusaur is, like, the only thing that really comes to mind. I mean, yeah, we have Psychic, and Psychic is also stabbing. It's going to hit way harder. This thing but... has stab flying. If you put a flying type move on your Neuburn, you get to blow it up anyway. Yeah, I'd rather have, like, Air Slash and, um, like, Draco. And just cut the sunny day and flamethrower and call it a day. Yeah. Just give. Like we're not worried about we're not worried about steel. Yep. We're not worried about Venusaur that much because we have Espeon and our fire type Incineroar down here. And possibly Neuvern, depending on if we move the set around. Yeah. Um, So maybe we want to weaken rain teams that are not good right now. Rain teams do nothing to this team because, like, again, we just throw out Primarina and just take all the water type moves we want. But Carl, the rise of Toad. <laughs> you need to weaken the Toad. This does a good job of weakening the Toad. <laughs> You're ruining my fun again. <laughs> um, yeah, you could throw goggles on your Cinderor, fix. Sunny Day Flamethrower off of your Neuvern and change that around and... Like, unless I'm missing something. I don't see any other reason to run Sunny Day. I really don't. It reduces the water type damage your Tyranitar takes, but then you're reducing Tyranitar's special defense anyway. Notably, you're also making uh, extra drill easier to kill due to fire attacks. Exactly. And this, this, this is the one mod on here that doesn't make any sense. This and, and you're setting up Sun so they can solar beam you. Yeah. So, you know... Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it on this one. And one more to round out the team this week. Um, it's playable Mons with Focus like Orb Mons. Cinderace, which I mean... We, we, we just talked about. <laughs> notably, this one does not have a high jump kick. Uh, power but, Ball. I, I don't think you need Power Ball. I, I, like, after we've done counts and everything, I don't need... I, I don't think we need it. It doesn't add anything for us. Um, we get to kill Venusaur. Bounce. Does Bounce kill if they D-Max? I mean, it also gives us an extra room of protection. Until we get hurricaned. Rough. <laughs> um, does Thunder hit through Bounce like it does through Fly? To Google? I, I, I don't know on this one. I actually don't know. That's something interesting to find out, because I know it hits fly. I know it hits fly. I don't know. Um. Th- th- is it weird to you that we have fly and bounce, and they're both flying-type moves that take two turns to hit? And they're both physical? Is it weird to you, or is it just me? It's weird. Okay, cool. Like, I get it. Like, obviously those that have fly don't have bounce and vice versa, but... It's it, weird. It's real weird. Uh, Women's Cot's pretty standard. Tailwind, Protect, Energy Ball, Fake Tear, Focus Stash, Prankster, Fast, Special Attacker, deals as much damage as possible. Yep. Um, people over. I hate Assault Vester Aladon. You don't get any benefit out of it. You know, it, it's one of those ones that was really, really popular for quite a while. And especially with, like, the rise of Excadrill Titar... And Conkadon. Conkadon. Gonna blow you up. Drelon is just really falling out of favor. It just dies it, it so used, much. It used to be a really good check to Togekiss. Like, was the big one. It, and Trick Room. And then... Like, the big thing is, like... Stalwart being able to counter... Follow, follow me. It's just like, alright, well, obviously you don't know what this does. And then people learn that how to play around it. And adapt it. And then... The meta shaped around it, and like basically the meta adapted and left Relodon in the behind. dust. Yeah, yeah, just in the dust behind him. Um, Salt vest, like we we talked about it. What was it two weeks ago? Just last week, I, and we've talked about it a lot here lately. Where actually. it's it's so, the special defense is so low. Assault vest doesn't help you. Nope, not like you needed to. 
unless you invest heavily in a special defense, it just doesn't get there. Like what normal mods mark where we were talking about it earlier. It's like the, the ideal number for, for assault vest to where it like you get to a decent number. 150 is about the lowest you can safely be with assault vest, and it's enough. Um, is that what's he at 225? And like assault vest doesn't do anything for Draladon, who's weak to ground, fighting. Like, you mean two physical moves exactly, like two physical stats at that point? Run your life form. And, like, obviously there's special fighting moves, there's special ground moves, but... We don't see them. Like, Earth Power Venusaur is not very common anymore, to no. my knowledge. I haven't seen it in quite a while. And Ludicolo is the only one that I know that runs Focus Blast consistently. I mean, you could put it on Charizard, but... At you that point... can, yes. At that point, like, why? Those, those are things you can do. But Ludicolo is the only one I know that runs Focus Blast, like, consistently throughout its moveset, because it's usually Assault Vest or Weakness Policy. Um, uh, Bixen Blade, Sylveon, pretty common. Um, we have Quick Attack, and we don't have anything to proc policy on, right? I didn't see anything. I didn't see a policy anyway. So we're just here to deal extra damage? Just pick up KOs? Yep. Um, I don't know if I like this spread on Sylveon. I think I want more bulk. Yeah, it probably seems about right. Does that make sense to you? Or yeah. is it just me? Yeah, I, I, Sylveon's special attack is fairly high. Its special defense is also fairly high. Um, oh, see, I like the max special attack. I, I would rather have... I also I also don't play Yawn. I think Mystical Fire is a really good thing in that, in that slot instead. Yeah, you can be able to deal with steel types better, but we also have just Happy Calder here sitting yeah, next to it. Yeah, probably. Plus, well, like, sleep is really powerful. And, like, I mean, that's kind of what... It, it's... Sylveon is filling in for Togekiss on this team. Yeah. Like, 1,000% is, like, what we're doing. So, having access to Yawn is just fine. So. Um, Flame Orb, Conkledur, pretty pretty common. Rock slides. Rock slide's not common. No, it's, rock slide's not common at all. It's usually ice or thunder punch there. So having access to rock slide kind of just means, like we're like we don't have a way to set trick room, so there's no reason to try to go for flinches with it. Yeah. So we're just going for spread damage. Just trying to get for just to spread as much damage as possible. Um, hits flying types. Hits Charizard. Hits. It answers Togekiss that way, but like I mean, if it's any of the punches, it does the same thing. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. It's whatever. And then Rodom Wash here. Pretty standard Rodom Wash. Protect, Plot, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump. Yep. Very bulky, very fast. A little bit of special attack investment. Yeah, seems fine. I think if we have Nasty Plot, I think we can just... Is it weird to just get rid of that special attack and just put it into... That's normal. That's usually what okay. the nasty plot sets are, is usually max HP, max speed, just to be as fast as possible. Cool. So, like, we from the Calyx we did Cinderace with high jump kick. Real good. Uh, Whimsicott, pretty standard. Fake Tears helps us to round on a ton, but Assault Vest means you actually aren't really doing anything with it. You're just locking yourself out of being able to protect yourself. Yeah, that's that's the big thing. Is like We used to have... Like, Tailwind Dorelodon was something that was pretty popular for quite a minute. Like, this is a kind of a callback to that, but, like, we have updated tech with Conkleder and um, Cinderace. So, like, we're doing new things with old mons. Yeah. But I, I'm not sure. Like, I, I think this is a pretty... This is probably the most solid of all of them. That Like, I, I don't have a like, complaint really about any of them besides the just item choice of Dorelodon. Yeah, there's very minor things I would change. Um, one being the item on Dorelodon, and the other being Pyrograph or High Jump Kick. Yeah. Past that, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. And that's all the teams I really want to talk about this week, because we're about an hour and a half, and... Oh, is that it? I, f I figured we were getting close to the two-hour mark. No, we're at an hour and a half. We got we got a couple more teams that we want to talk about them. You know, man, I think... I'm ready to call it a day, to be honest with you. Okay. I think, I think we're gonna save some more stuff for next week, and it. And, and do uh, a drawing for the DLC thing, and. So for those of you who haven't entered, make sure you follow us on Twitter. 
which that information is always in the show notes. Uh, you can find myself and Carl as well at Carter Noble 25 at musical underscore 33 and the podcast at LR lessons. Um, you can also, if you're entering that contest, you need to be on our discord server. That link is also in our show notes. I believe it's also in our pinned tweet on Twitter. Something somewhere in there. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Um, I don't run the Twitter page. That's that's all you. I gotta get logged back in. I got a new phone. I gotta do all that logging in again. <laughs> that's actually why I don't have this because I also recently got a new phone. I have it on my desktop, but I don't have it on my phone. I actually don't have it on my computer. I only have it on my phone. Oh, <laughs> great. Yeah. We're locked out of Twitter. No, we're fine. Yeah, it's fine. It'll probably log me in. It saved most of my passwords when I transferred everything over. He'll be fine. Um, let's YouTube. see. YouTube. For those of you who are listening on YouTube. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You hit that like button. You leave a comment of what you want to. You know, what do we? What do we want people to comment this week? Uh, excited about the DLC for what? Want you excited to get back from the sixties plus ones that we got confirmed for Isle of Armor, or it could be Crown Tundra Pokemon that you're excited for. L- leave a comment about that. Um, basically, we want you to comment on basically anything because it helps the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. What engagement is key in making people see us. So if you if you want to help us out by liking, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff, it really does help us out a ton. Yeah. Um, for those of you who aren't on YouTube, make sure you go follow us on YouTube at Little Root Lessons as always. Um, Discord, Twitter, we're both on Twitch. Um, probably going to stream a non-zero amount of the DLC when it comes out. Same. Pending Depending that I moved and got everything set up because not only am I moving, but I also need a new desk and I'm you know, not going to have internet completely for who knows how long. and A couple know, days. Yeah, so um, so that's a thing. Yep. Um, past that, I got a whole lot of nothing. I think that's about it. We hit uh, all the bases. Cool, cool. So... Um, that being said, we'll be back next week to talk about who knows what. We'll figure that out then. Have a good one. Peace.